An event was held in Milton Keynes organised by Anwar Qasim called Overcoming Ignorance. Speakers included Lady Elizabeth Howe, Peter Sanders, Red Allen Wilson, Bishop of Buckinghamshire, Steve Coventry, Mayor of Milton Keynes. Ahmed Nawaz, a victim of the APS Peshawar attack, shared his account of that day, including the loss of his brother. He highlighted he would like to promote the importance of education through different forums in the UK and worldwide. In this country, that they are very lucky to have such a quality education. In our country, we strive for education like this, so they should not take it for granted. And they should work hard and focus on their studies because they have got the golden opportunity. I, want, I dream of peace, safety and education for every child. I dream no child has to be a fear of being killed for learning. I dream every school stay safe. I dream of love, peace and harmony in this world. Once again, thank you very much. And I hope that you all will join me in this great cause of spreading the message of education. Thank you very much. Yeah, hello, my name is Steve Coventry and I'm the Mayor of Milton Keynes. And I've been here tonight and it's an absolutely fantastic event laid on by Anwar and Milton Keynes College. You know, as, as Mayor of Milton Keynes, I've always been very proud that Milton Keynes uh, has got a very diverse community, but everybody really, really gets on. But recently, since Brexit, I'm, I'm just concerned that um, the, the, the community has changed a little bit. And I think it's dependent upon all of us now to try and make sure that people, regardless of where they come from, regardless of what religion they, they, th th they pray for, um, that we all get on together and we do our best to make sure that we can have cohesive communities across the whole country. My name is Ahmed Nawaz uh, and uh, I'm the victim of uh, Army Public School Peshawar attack 16 December. I want to give this message to the student of this country and uh, throughout the world that uh, education is the main thing that we can defeat terrorism. In this country, uh, they have the students, all the people have a quality education. In our country and in many other countries, people starve for education like this. So in this country, students should not take it for granted. And uh, they should focus on their studies because they have the golden opportunity. And uh, I will fight, uh, fight for the education in, in other areas like Pakistan, Palestine, Syria to overcome the, the lack of education and ignorance and uh, we will fight we will fight till the end to overcome the ignorance and enlighten the minds with the power of education. It's been a real joy to be here tonight with Anwar at this extraordinary um, exhibition of Islamic art um, to be brought back to something that speaks uh, of what it means to be alive, what it means to be human both in the geometric art, the Islamic art, which somehow takes us back to the basic building blocks of life and what it's all about, and also to be truly inspired, both to meet Bilal, who's come to settle in our city, and who is now very much one of us, to take him to our hearts and to welcome him, and to receive his music uh, and communicate in that way. Uh, and also to Ahmed with his extraordinary story of standing up and uh, fighting for education, fighting against ignorance in the world, and the way in which that great mission came from the tragedy of his brother's death and the school shooting he was involved in in Pakistan. To see something so good for the world come out of something so awful is actually a great source of hope. So it's been a really joyful evening for me and uh, really good to be here and to send every blessing and good wish to the whole community here in Milton Keynes and especially our Muslim friends for everything you've brought us tonight. My name is the Countess Howe, I'm Elizabeth and I am patron of the Milton Keynes Islamic Arts and Culture. This is a wonderful organization which Anwar and Mariam Kasim started up after the 7-7 bombings in London and their desire was to promote interfaith relationships and through art 
they do exactly that. So we've had a series of wonderful exhibitions which have been staged uh, in order to build bridges between communities. To add on to what the Bishop said, the Bishop of Buckinghamshire, it has been a pleasure to have uh, the Bishop with us, uh, Lady Elizabeth Howe, the Mayor, uh, Ahmed uh, Nawaz. What a wonderful story, inspiring for the youth. And it is time that the community understand the challenges they are facing and understand the youth uh, engagement, but also more so that we need to build you know, bridges with diverse community. But how Islamic arts and culture has played, not only histor historically, but also in present civilization. And we need to continue to do more of this work. And I am grateful for the support by everyone, the college, the mayor, but also by the media as well. Please help me to support and promote this message. Diversity brings us together. At the end of the day, we're all humans, and that's the message that brings, brings us together. And we're all children of Abraham, as many have said so far today. And to be honest, the world is getting closer together, and we should be able to understand and communicate better rather than creating chaos among each other. And that's really what the message is about today. And I hope that everything is going well. Subhan Shafiq Malik, uh, ex mayor of Milton Keynes, uh, Anwar has been pulling off uh, bashes like this for the last few years, where he's used Isla Islamic art and heritage to bring the various communities of Milton Keynes together through art and the heritage of Islam. And as you can see from tonight's event, we have a large uh, range of communities that have come together under the banner of um, art that has been used in various schools across Thames Valley and Buckinghamshire to bring the various communities together and sending out a positive message of uh, unity through art and heritage. I hope he carries on with his mission of bringing the various communities that live not only in the Thames Valley area but in the United Kingdom together and how we can work uh, on common values and strengths and build on that. My name is Zahid and I'm from Luton. I have come to attend this program. Uh, I'm very pleased to attend a program which was about the interfaith relation. Uh, all communities contributed, and we are happy to attend such programs. So England is a country, United Kingdom is a country of different religion, different nationality, and different ethnicity. It's a home to different people from different parts of the world. So we always support and encourage these kinds of programs.